In this lecture of curve fitting, we discuss fitting of the curve y is equal to a b to the power x. So earlier we discussed the fitting of the curve that is a straight line. Then we discussed fitting of a parabolic curve and now a b to the power x. Now the curve which is to be fitted is y is equal to a b to the power x. In order to solve this, we'll reduce it to a straight line and we may use then the equation, normal equations of the straight line. Take log on both the sides of this equation. So on taking log, we'll take log to the base 10. So if I do not write here to the base 10, it, it means that it is to the base 10. So on taking log, we have, and just I said, it is all to the base 10. Now what do we do? We substitute this as capital Y and subs you, you may substitute this as capital A and you may substitute this one as capital B. So in this way this equation reduces to y is equal to A plus capital B and here the variable x small x remains the same. In this way it reduces to the equation of a straight line and we know the normal equation of a straight line what is the normal equation normal equation of a straight line is sigma capital y and if you remember it is na we had discussed it in our previous lectures and then capital b sigma x multiply it with x and take summation on both the side so the this will be the normal equation for this particular a b to the power x to be fitted now let us move to the question number one now in this question we have to fit this curve y is equal to a b to the power x and the data is given to be this. Let us see what all we need as a heading of the column. We need capital Y which is obviously log Y. We need multiplication of small x and capital Y that is x and log Y. Similarly, we need sigma x and sigma x square. Let us quickly make the heading of the column x y capital Y which is log to the base 10 y and then we need x square and x small y. Let us see the values of x which is given. It is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The corresponding value of y, let us write it. It is 8.3, 15.4, Let us take the log. You may use your calculator. You have to find the log to the base 10. Right, so we found it to be this. Now we have to find x square. So it is 4, 9, 16, 25 and 36. Now we have to multiply small x and capital Y column. Let us multiply. Use your calculator and write the answer. Okay. So, now I had written it. Now, let us take the summation. If we take the summation, we'll get sigma x is equal to 20, which we need. Now, sigma capital Y is equal to 7.5458. We'll find sigma x square which is equal to 90 and now sigma x capital Y which is coming out to be 33.1821. Now we have to put all the values in this normal equation. If you can see this equation, let us put all the values in this equation. I'm putting the values in the equation. So it is 7.5458 is equal to let us see how many values are there. What is n? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So I am writing the value of n as 5 plus 20 b because sigma x is 20. So I have written here 20. 
and now small x into capital Y is 33.1821 and it is 20a plus 90b which is x square so I have written here 90 so the there are two equations and two unknowns solve the equations you have the facility to solve the equation using your calculator also or you may use the elimination method or you may use the matrix method whatever you remember or know let us solve this equation and on solving these equations we'll get the value of unknown that is capital a and capital b and the value values are coming out to be this if you remember students our capital a was capital a was log a log to the bus base 10 a and capital b was log to the base 10 b so that is that means that we found the value of log to the base 10 a and we found the value of log to the base 10 b obviously in order to find the value of small a and small b we need anti-log okay so small a is anti-log of 0 0.3096 again you have to use your calculator to find the anti-log of 0 0.2999 use your calculator to find the value and once you will use it you will find the value of a and b as 2.04 and 1.995 let us substitute this value to the curve which we want to fit we wanted to fit this curve we are putting the values in this curve and the value is 2.04 1.995 to the power x so this is our required fit we had fitted a b to the power x to this, this given curve in the question the main crux here was to reduce this equation if you remember we had taken log to the base 10 if you still have any queries please ask in the chat try to solve all the questions of this form